Peace. This MJ will wake up news. I'll be offering my commentary pertaining to the subject or title that you clicked on in a few moments. Peace. Set free after being wrongfully convicted of murder 42 years ago. One of them even faced the death penalty. But thanks to newly discovered evidence, they're tasting freedom for the first time since 1976. This morning, finally free. Praise the Lord. Nathan Myers and his uncle Clifford Williams walked out of prison and kissed the ground. A recent review found the two men from Jacksonville were wrongly convicted of murder 42 years ago. I'm nervous, you know, because I feel like I'm still locked up. Myers and Williams have maintained their innocence since they were charged in the 1976 death of Jeanette Williams and the shooting of her roommate. In 2017, Myers wrote a letter to the state's attorney hoping the newly formed Innocence Project would look at the case. His letter sat for a year because at that time, the Conviction Integrity Unit was still just an idea. The team reviewed the case and found a witness account contradicted the evidence. It turns out witnesses who could have provided the men with an alibi were never called to testify. And even more shocking, their defense attorneys at the time never entered any evidence to support their case. The Innocence Project concluded the men were not only wrongfully convicted, but likely innocent. Thank you. It's the first time in Florida's history that a conviction reversal has been initiated by prosecutors. We would only um, devote our resources to those cases where um, petitioners had pled um, claims that could be substantiated, um, claims of actual innocence. The case all the more disturbing because Williams, who's now 76, was initially facing the electric chair. My mother, she died while I was on death row. And, uh, I just wanted to get out and be with, be with my son. Wrongfully convicted people are eligible for compensation from the state, but reports say Williams isn't eligible because of his prior. Peace, peace, peace. This your brother MJ will wake up news. So here's another story of two black men who were innocent, who spent a large majority of their life in prison, falsely accused, falsely convicted. And, you know, somebody has to pay for that. You know, we do things to people and we think we get away with it. But yes, you may have possibly got away with it in your lifetime, see, but your seed, your children and your grandchildren have to reap or, or, or sow what you reaped. That's the way that the universe is constructed. So all of the wickedness that white people have done over the past 6,000 years to black and brown people, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad said for the, 6, 000, the last 6,000 years, each thousand of those years that white people have killed a hundred million of black and brown people for each thousand of those years. Think over that. Six hundred million plus black and brown people have been murdered at the hands of Caucasians. This is your history, white people. And now God has come to put an end to this system of things. Thank God for those white people, those brown and black people who fight for justice, who are helping to get these black men who have been falsely accused, falsely convicted, to help grant them relief. God will bless them for that. The Holy Quran says that whoever is a doer of good. They have their reward with their Lord. So I don't, it's not about color. It's about righteousness today. Our righteousness shall sustain us. But the scripture says that the bottom rail 
See, God has come to help the least, the last, the left out in society today. Not the rich, not the powerful. If you look throughout the scripture, he's always been on the side of those who have been victims of government, of rulers, of monarchies that have been unjust to the people. Well, black and brown people here in America and throughout the world have been under the uh, foot of white supremacy and tyranny. We just got to speak straight words. And white people, if you want to escape the punishment and the judgment of this world, then I would hasten you. And uh, the wickedness that your ancestors and your forefathers have done and some of your near of kin and uh, associates and contemporaries are still doing today to black and brown people. I hasten you. I appeal to you to strive to be as righteous as possible. Like I said, it's not about color. It's about our righteousness, no matter what our color is, but we got to keep it real. You know, the system of white supremacy is real, right? And it puts tyranny on darker skinned people. We see the videos on Facebook all day, every day. It's a reality. And this is what black and brown people have to live under. Being falsely accused, falsely convicted. And we see videos like when uh, Philando Castile was killed, shot in the car with his baby uh, and, and his uh, wife in the back. And then the officer gets to walk free in the system of white supremacy. Well, white and light skinned is right. Or if you're a police officer part of a fraternity you're there to protect and serve but you're let go free by a jury of your peers who most times are white supremacists but as long as the tyranny is not over their head they don't care right as long as they're not being falsely convicted like these two brothers they don't care they could care less so that's why the scripture says that God would take the blood of Abel to Zacharias and place it on one generation of our oppressors, of our tormentors. And we can never escape the deeds that we do, brothers and sisters. I don't care what color you are. None of us are, are getting away with nothing. We might think we are, but whenever... Justice is not executed on man's level. Then it goes and ascends up to a universal court where a universal judge decrees a judgment. Our creator. That's the uh, karma that exists in the universe that Jesus said as thou hast done. So shall it be done unto thee. And if you sow to the winds, then you will weep the whirlwind. And that's the day that we're living in where retribution is being a, uh, given from the creator. And as we can see, the forces of nature are in effect like we have never seen before. Meteorologists can barely predict the weather. Uh, tornadoes coming out of the sky, out of nowhere, flooding like we have never seen before. This is the judgment of America as uh, Jehovah punished Egypt. So is God doing today to America and throughout the world for the evil that people are doing. One to another and for, excuse me, for the evil that Caucasians have poured on the darker people. 
So their seed has to pay a price for that. Nobody is getting away with nothing, brothers and sisters. So I just wanted to say that these brothers, even though they have served a lot of their life in prison, and we thank those people, no matter their color, if they're white, we applaud you for standing for justice. You will be blessed for that if you help these individuals who spent all that time in jail get released. Our creator will bless you and your seed for that. Those are good deeds. And we thank you for standing up for principalities and uh, morality and justice. That's the way that the, uh, the, the universe was constructed. On truth, freedom, justice, and equality, brothers and sisters. And you will have your reward with your Lord. So, but, you know, these brothers' uh, life was not in vain. Um, and I hope that the Creator will use these brothers um, in, in their life uh, to inspire many, um, to help brothers who are in this condition. Um, and, you know, we really have to change a lot of things about our judicial system and the wickedness that e exists, um, in it, you know, um, so that's just my few thoughts about this. Um, may our creator, uh, grant these two brothers, uh, peace, um, no, you know, no matter what they had to go through. To, to be where they are today. This your brother MJ with Wake Up News. I'm signing off. Peace.